Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday go-to spring makeup tutorial look thing. So basically this is the look that I wear when I just want to look like I'm wearing makeup but like I'm not wearing makeup. You know, like people are always like, oh like no makeup, makeup. But it's like if I'm going to wear makeup, I want people to know that I'm wearing makeup, you know. Um, and it's so easy to tell when somebody's wearing makeup, especially if you're so into makeup and you know how like everything is supposed to look it's just so noticeable so that's why i don't care if people know that i wear makeup when i'm trying to make it look like i'm not wearing makeup does that make sense so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and prime my face so oh so this right here is the Embrolease late cream concentrate so this right here was ten dollars this little tube was ten dollars um i was looking for the full size but i couldn't find it so i like picked this up and then i went to the cash register cash register <laughs> to the cash register and they're like yeah it's ten dollars i was like okay so I'm just going to use this to moisturize and prime my face. This is like a high-end brand and they sell it at Target because I know Sephora sells this and like um, Namie's and like Ricky's, they all sell this. So I was really confused when I saw it at um, Target. And this has a really thick, slippery feel to it. Not slippery, but just like thick moisturizing feel, which I do not... Hey. Okay, so after this primer, I'm going to be wearing like a really dewy foundation. So um, I kind of want to like set, not set, but prime around my nose to like fill in my pores. So I'm using this one by L'Oreal. What is this called? Oh, the Magic Perfecting Base. So I'm literally just going to put this right here just so that my pores don't look too crazy okay so I am going to color correct just because I'm Hispanic and literally my hair grows so thick so I do want to cover around my mouth I'm ooh, I'm not gonna do it as intense as I usually do so um, I'm going to go in for foundation now for foundation I do kind of like OD steps so the first thing that I do is I take my makeup forever stick and this is a little bit thicker than this foundation which is gonna go all over the face so I put this you're gonna see I put this in my beard area so basically my double chin and then I take it around my mouth like that so basically this is the only area that I want full 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 coverage um so that's why i do that step and then i take a brush and just blend it in so now is when i go in with this foundation this is the becca aqua luminous in the shade tan and i literally just drip this <gasps> oh my god i thought it was gonna fall on me down my face and then i kind of like distribute it a little bit with my fingers and then I take this brush and I basically just pounce it into my face. And I've noticed um, that this foundation has the most coverage when you use a brush like this. Um, so I would not use like my beauty blender. Okay, now my forehead, I don't really need a lot of coverage. So literally what I do is I just take whatever is left over on this brush and I just blend it onto my forehead I am going to apply a little bit of this makeup forever on my temples just because when I was younger literally younger like 10 11 and 12 I would go to the pool with my friends and we would tan for hours and hours and hours I'm not kidding guys sometimes we would tan for like nine hours like literally when the pool would open to when it would close we would just tan and that really took a toll on my skin especially around my mouth and um on the sideburns i don't know why like pigmentation just caught on to that and it's just like really ugly anyway so now i'm going to go in with concealer i'm using my tarte shape tape but i'm using it in the color tan because when i don't wear a lot of makeup um this is a lot of makeup. When I don't wear like a beat face, I don't want like a really highlighted under eye. So I just take 
a concealer that's literally not the same. Well, this could probably go for my same same um, skin tone, but it's just different than my foundation. That's why it just looks like a little bit different. And I literally just put that right there. So I'm not bringing it all the way down. Um, and you do want to do that if you're using a lighter concealer. And then I take my beauty blender and I just push it in. So I guess the concealer was a little bit lighter than the foundation. So I'm just going to go in with this brush and like push it in. So then, now I'm going to go in with my Cody Airspun powder, and, oh my god, I need to get a new one. And I literally just dip the tip of my beauty blender, and then put it underneath my eyes, but I literally don't even bake. Like, I just push it in like that. And I just continue to, like, pounce my beauty blender under my eye, and it just pushes it in. So I do this, um, like, everywhere where I bake. Instead of baking, I just push it in. So now I'm going to go in with a face powder. This is my MAC um, Studio Finish. Is it called? No, Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, in the color Medium Dark. And I'm going to be setting my eyelids with this. Just so that they're not greasy. I used to never set my eyelids in high school, guys. And I would go to like the bathroom like during... Okay, I literally left high school a couple of months ago. Was it... Did we have letter blocks or numbers? We had numbers, right? Okay, well, I think it was seventh period. Yeah, we had numbers. Um, I could remember. And I would go to, like, the bathroom during seventh period, which was, like, the last period of the day. And my eyelids would just be so greasy and creasy. It was not cute. <clears throat> okay, so then I'm just going to set the remainder of my face with that same... Powder. Okay, so I don't like to OD bronze my face um, because, once again, that can just make it look so noticeable. So, what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to take a brush like this and I'm just going to take my bronzer. And the only reason why I'm loading my brush on is because I've never used this for bronzer. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just going to kind of dabble it a little bit so we have it placed down like that and then I'm gonna go into my blush which this is Melba by Mac and I'm just going to blend that out and then whatever is left off on the brush I just bring onto my forehead and then just run it on my nose like this so then now for highlighter I'm going to take this elf golden bronzer this is technically a bronzer but I use it as highlight so what I'm going to do is take a Morphe M500 and I'm really going to load my brush with this color and then I'm just going to go like that. really like to get the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so we're going to move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to use this Nudes palette by CoverGirl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing that I did on my face. I'm going to take the bronzer on the brush, put it into my crease, and then take my blush and blend it out with that. I'm just going to take that same bronzer and just run the tiniest amount under here. And I'm not using the pink because if you're not wearing a lot of makeup and you use pink on your lower lash line, it'll literally look like you have pink eye. And then I'm not using any false lashes. Um, so I'm just going to load my eyelashes with some mascara. I'm using the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. So for my lips, I'm going to take away this ugly foundation off of my lips. So then for the lips, I'm just taking a little bit of clear gloss, literally the tiniest bit. Okay guys, and then for the eyebrows, this is literally going to make you guys cringe, but I take a little bit of my mascara, and so lightly, I just go over 
my eyebrows literally so lightly okay guys so this right here is the completed look I seriously love doing this routine so much it takes me about like 10 to 12 minutes um, it's just so easy it makes you look so put together so nice and like glowy and you can seriously just tell that your face just looks really really like good and on point um, <clears throat> Ooh. Now, you can tell you're wearing makeup, especially for me, you can just tell I'm wearing makeup, which I don't care at all. Um, I just sometimes don't like to, like, OD, like, contour and, like, you know, conceal everything, so I just like to kind of just go with the flow and kind of fix and perk up a little bit of the flaws that I may have. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before you go, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to like this video. It really does help me out a lot. And, yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. <laughs>